Alright, here's a video for uh, installing spin-on fuel filters for uh, an MEP double watt 2A and a double watt 3A. So what we're going to do, this is, is about as easy as it gets for putting on a spin-on filter. You have the original cartridge units here. There's three of them. You know, you get your your water separator and all that, and then you got drains on the other ones. You know, they designed it with three, how many decades ago? Well, we're not going to put three back on because, uh, well, the filters made today are a heck of a lot better anyway than what is originally designed. So, what we're going to do, again, this is real easy. You got three bolts to hold this assembly on, and then two fuel lines. You got one here, that's your inlet, and you might not be able to see it, but it's back in there. It's on the uh, back side, that's the outlet line which comes down here and goes on to the engine. What we're going to do is take these three bolts out and unhook these two lines. Now, this line back in here, I'm not saying you couldn't take it off while it's bolted in there, but I'll show you how I do it. Uh, I do that after this is unbolted. This one, I take off now. So here we go. What I'm going to do is remove this fuel line, take out these three bolts. This whole fuel filter assembly uh, will come out of here. Then we're going to take that line. But I'm going to stop the camera. And do that. All right, here we are. I removed this fuel line from over here took out the three bolts that held it on we're going to we're going to use those bolts over again so I just set the bolt up top and I loosened loosened this line now I see how this line's right out here and wide open so I already already loosened it the wrench spin it off with my hand my fingers there. And there you have it. The old assembly's out. You get your uh, inlet fuel line, your outlet fuel line, and you got those three holes from where it originally mounted. The uh, replacement one is going to just go right back on here, put those three bolts in, hook up those two uh, fuel lines. Here is the original came out of there. Now hang on to this for the moment uh, because you're going to use either this line or that line. <coughs> Excuse me. Put on a new kit. And then you're going to keep whichever line you don't use as a spare just in case. I mean you've already got it you might as well keep it. But everything else you're going to throw away. So there you have it. Now we're going to take the uh, the new and fold it on in there. Okay. So now we have the uh, spin-on assembly here. You may remember from the original, we had two fuel lines that were in between the uh, original canister filters. Here's one of them. We're going to take this fuel line and connect it between here and there. That's what I'm going to do now and we'll come back and we'll mount this thing on. Alright, now that line is put in there. I mean you could probably do something different but I mean that works and you've already got it. So you know, why buy new? But everybody has their own standards. But I like the idea we're using that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this new setup. We're going to put it right in there. Line the holes up. Put the bolts in. Tighten them down. Now again, that very first line, or excuse me, not the very first line, but the last line, right there's the uh, elbow. And right there's the line. I'm going to hook that up before I bolt this into place and then do that fuel line.
So we're going to hook that line up right there. Going to hook that up, hold it in place, hook that line up, tighten it down, and call it good on that part of it. Alright, we've got that all installed now. That's your uh, line coming out from the last filter going to the engine. That's installed and tight. Your inlet line installed and tight. And you got these three bolts installed and tight. Now all we got to do is put the filters on. I would fill the filters up with fuel when you spin them on. I mean, you could let your pump push all the air and out and everything. could do it that way, but I'd fill the filters up. Uh, first filter, NAPA 3405. The fuel filter, water separator, drain plug on the bottom there. Make sure you wet your gasket, your inner gasket, wet it, and install it. And when you install it, make sure that goes all the way up on flush. Otherwise, you're going to have a leak. You take, take the gasket and put it on up there. But make sure it goes all the way up on. And then, take your... Uh, Second filter, I'm using a NAPA 3352, to 6 micron in the second position. Now you could use a 3528, same filter but it's 2 micron. Again, make sure you wet your gasket. I would fill them both up, put them on. So I'm going to do that, and uh, far good. And there we have it, switched over to spin-on filters. These are everyday filters. You can get them everywhere if you don't use uh, NAPA filters, which are wicks. You know, use these numbers across to uh, other ones. Uh, if you get the wicks numbers, you add a number in front of the 3352. Remember, it's usually a 3 or a 5. Same with a 3405. But NAPA filters are wicks. The only difference is they have a different paint job on them. But if you don't want to run uh, NAPA filters or wicks filters, just use these numbers to uh, cross over to whatever company you like using. And there you have it. A very easy, quick to do conversion from canister filters to spin on field filters for an MEP 2A and 3A. Any questions? Let me know.